Hey guys, my name is Caddy Wolf, and welcome back to 2064 Read Only Memories after a terrible attempt at breaking and entering and totally failing what should be a simple puzzle and you know, just dropping the drive entirely. Ugh, we just have to work with, I think, whatever we managed to get. So for now, we're just gonna have to gather up our peeps and like stage a riot or something. A, ri a riot. Let's go talk to our favorite punks first. Where are my punks? Hey guys, how's it going? How's it sinking? How's it sinking? It's terrible. Sink sinking terrible. Yes. How are you? It's sinking in like the Easy. terrible sense. Like we our ship is sinking. Our operation is sinking. Y'all need some more fake IDs or something? <laughs> or maybe some third-hand VR dramas. Oh yeah, give me some of those VR dramas. Third-hand? Third-hand, pirated. Yeah, like, you know, guy I know found them when they fell off the back of a truck. <laughs> I know a guy that knows a guy. I thought VR dramas were distributed primarily over the mesh. Ignore him. Ignore him. I made the mistake of convincing him to watch some turn of the century mobster movies with me. I regretted it instantly. Hmm. Hey, I really like that one with the dude from Montana in it. Dude from Montana? <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. What you jerks need? Since apparently my VR dramas ain't good enough. Well, we need real life drama. Engaging in some more activity. <laughs> Dubiously legality. We were wondering if you wouldn't mind helping create a distraction to keep the police out of the way. Yeah, I'm sure that's Chad's favorite activity. You gonna go hit those parallax bastards that did your dad in? Yes, actually, that was surprisingly accurate. <laughs> he's smarter than he pretends to be. That pretends to be. So he pretends to be smart, but he's actually smarter than he pretends to be smart. Do you have a plan in mind already? Uh, I don't know, just cause a ruckus? Mmm, yeah, starting a little riot. Uh, just need to make some noise, nothing too dangerous. But danger is my middle name. <laughs> no, your middle name is Starfucker. No, it's not. <laughs> it's Francis. Oh, uh, Francis? Chad Francis? And what was your dad's last name? I forgot. Shut up, Oliver! Chad Francis. We just need you to gather a bunch of, um, like-minded individuals. <laughs> Unlike-minded individuals who like causing Bring trouble. To market and we want you to start a fake riot with all the others. Isn't this market? So the police will mobilize there. Um, as much as we'd like to. We'll do it. <laughs> He's already decided. You've done all cool right kid. I'm even almost sorry we sprayed up that dude's apartment. Almost sorry. I know we're all squared up already, but Bitbrain here is good people. So we'll call this Brain? Freebie. Oh, Bitbrain, yeah. Turing. Between friends. Cool, cool, cool. I got some dudes I can call. They like to party hard too. We'll show those coppers how we do it. Maybe in not party too hard. Thank you, Starfucker. <laughs> So cool. I guess we're in. Hopefully we'll be able to stay out of juvie. Yeah, I don't want to go there again. We need a little more time to make the call. Next time will be real jail. You when we're ready to move. Hey, you need a call sign, Oliver. Call sign? What? Can't do spy shit like this without a good name. Uh, call okay. Not a bad idea. What about Megane-kun? Megane-kun. Nerd! Oh man, not more anime crap. He's all about that anime crap. It's not any worse than Starfucker. True, I mean. Only cause you ain't a star yet. <laughs> He's a real star. Chad! We haven't even... <sighs> what? <laughs> Something weird going on. <laughs> you two are cute, so writing? Too much information. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll say this. You two are cute. 
<coughs> yeah. Alright, see you later, guys. Right, Starfucker. Uh, yeah, sure, Ollie. Whatever you say. <laughs> we'll be in touch. See you later, guys. Smell you later. Smell you later, alligator. <laughs> this person not voice. Well, on to the next thing, I guess. I do have to say, I can't tell if the mating rituals of human teenagers are endearing or disgusting. Well, when you said it like that, it just made it really disgusting. I'm sure you'll find love someday too. Can Turing? Because do they know? I mean, I guess. I guess they love hated right? So I don't know. I'm gonna say this. I'm sure you'll find love someday too. Huh. The dot hat honestly never occurred to me. Whoa. I guess if we pull this off, that'll be one more puzzle for me to piece together. That aside, let's get going. We shouldn't keep Jess waiting any longer. Assuming you like your limbs in their current configuration. <laughs> I like my limbs away from her. Why is she even here? Oh, what Lexi's here. Nothing, Lexi! We're never expecting her. Yeah, I bet you aren't. Yeah. We never are. You always catch us by surprise. Do you even realize how big of a hornet's nest you kicked when you knocked over that data center? Damn, how they know it was me. I'm assuming that was you, yeah. My superior came and yanked me away from all my work on Hayden as soon as we got the call. Told me it was politically unwise to keep digging. Politically unwise. Bullshit double speak, meaning ass covering for the corporate overlords. So now I'm officially grounded, and I know there's something you're not telling me. Yeah, I'm Once also I'm grounded. I probably could have been more useful all along if you boot me in. It's kind of true. Why haven't we been like utilizing her help? It's kind of weird. All right, give it to her straight, Terry. We're sorry for keeping you in the dark. We found out that Aiden has been killed by someone inside Parallax. Now on the move to stop them from doing worse. Wait, what? I know it's a lot. I was hoping you were about to tell me that all this was just some ruse to win yourself a bullet I, I wish. You know, it was all about the journalism. This is about veggies. It's definitely not profits, but the truth not profit. So it's never about profit. Um uh, it's kinda like about justice and about the truth. But I've been- I feel like I've been kind of vying for the truth, so this is about the truth, not profit. Yes, but we need to find out what is really happening here. Yeah, what is happening? I still don't know what's happening. And I'm betting that raiding the data center was only step one in your two-step plan to really get in trouble. It's more like step three at this point. Alright then. I'm in. You're in? You were invited, Lexi! Yeah, you could lose your badge, man. Someone has to keep you from getting yourself killed. Your sister would never forgive me. Are we ever gonna meet Just this mysterious talking. sister? Besides, I'm occasionally fond of you as well. Occasionally only? So screw the badge. Screw the badge. I'm tired of being a corporate pawn shoved around by whomever has the deepest pocket. Oh yeah, Lexi. Stick it to the man. I got into this job to help people, and I've done too damn little of that lately. I am in. You are Just in. Like that? Just like that, yeah, just like that. Just like that. What's the plan? I don't know. I never know what's the plan. Parallax got rid of Hayden because he was about to publish his research on me. They're about to launch the first independent machine intelligence as a data collection agent on the mesh. They're worried that Congress will shut them down if they find out how powerful it is. I'm guessing we're a little more worried that they won't. There's some big brother stuff right there. Yeah, in fact, it's called Big Blue. Precisely. With the data we stole, we should be able to shut down the program from inside Parallax's main server center. It's messier than that, but that's the gist of it. That's our next target. I'm not sure where I can help exactly. Maybe keep some heat off of you while you do whatever it is. Honestly, like, let me turn off all the security cameras and get like all the security eyes away from me. I'm certain your assistance will prove invaluable. Okay, 
message me when and where to meet up. I guess you can call the riot oh, too. By the way, call your sister. She misses you. I should. Why haven't I called her? <laughs> Where do we get to go along? Do we go? I don't know. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Lexi. Yeah, seeing your ugly mug pushed me into calling her. So it's only fair. Excuse you. We have. Me and my sister have the same beautiful mug faces. Maybe things will be different this time. That's enough talking. I'm heading back to the station to keep an eye on things. See you when it's time. And sorry about your friend Hayden. We're gonna finish this. Yeah, unfortunately, I never got to meet him. Bye, Detective Rivers. Bye, Lexi. One more ally on our side. She was always on her side. Well, maybe like not on the side of knowing, but you know, she was always on our side. So wait, why did I leave? I was supposed to go meet Le Jess. 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 There you are. Hello, Jess. Dear me. Dear you. We know. <laughs> we know. Hmm. You have to love us a Go little bit at this point. G yeah, really? Still with this? I think we should have learned better right now. Uh, we were hoping to use your hybrid contacts for something. Sorry, you want to use my friends? I'm sorry, we're not objects to be used. Yeah, she's just way too sensitive to every word. Hey, Bubblehead, you're not as chatty. Give me the whole situation in three sentences or less. Three sentences or less. Um, Parallax is launching a new powerful machine intelligence onto the mesh. That's one sentence. We want to stop it. That's another sentence. We need you to set up a fake riot with some teenagers connected to the human revolution. All right, you use all, all your sentences already. Should I risk my people and career for this? Our entire movement. Because this could change the future? I don't know. First, you want me to steal a car. Now incite riots? What kind of tech could be worth my people's lives? <laughs> Skynet. Uh, If Parallax AI goes Skynet, how will Congress react? Public doesn't really think of hybrids as human. They'll lock down rights of all people they fear. Hybrids will become enemies of the state. Shit. Damn right, shit, Jess. Uh, things could get way worse than they are, Jess. Way worse. Oh, cut the bullshit. I can't stomach another moment of your insincerity. I will literally puke. Is it Sarity? Why is- Ugh, God, I don't get her. So, hypothetically, what exactly would you have me do? We need you to call in some help from your contacts and have them stir up trouble with the human revolution. We'll ensure our contacts inside the HR will be ready to escalate the protests, at least enough to draw an increased police presence. That should buy us the breathing room we need. Nothing too wild, but enough to draw away their attention. I figured it would be something like that. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Let me make some calls. Let's get this straight, though. I'm doing this for me and my people. Even better, so I don't have to owe you a favor. I'm putting my reputation and career on the line here. You are asking me to start shit with the police. If you screw me on this, I will make you regret it. I already regret it. She's always so hard on my ass. Sure Miss Mees, we Ms. Mees? I didn't even know that was her last name. We will not screw- Oh, please, Terry, don't say it like that. Although, to be fair, I'm not entirely sure what that means. It's- it's better if you don't. Right. <laughs> I was tired of playing the public relations game with those human revolution assholes anyway. Time to crack some skulls. Oh yeah. Uh, Just don't crack Chad's skull, okay? Much <laughs> Holy shit. Did you not get the understanding hyperbole chip or whatever? I need to make some calls. Later. Uh, later. Maybe never. Good call and keep her in the dark about the real plan, okay? You're right about that. 
I have a feeling she's going to be mighty ticked about having thousands of machine intelligences running around instead of just one. I guess. Does she really think I'm not too chatty? <clears throat> that aside, let's get going. Okay, there's one more person I think we should talk to Wolf. Who is that? Dr. Fairlight could perhaps give us a vital or give us vital information on how to get into the server complex. I have a feeling he's been keeping a keen eye on Parallax since he was ousted. Lexi, Jess, and Chad and Oliver may be able to buy us cover, but Fairlight could get us our way in. Uh, if you're sure. I'm not. Okay, well, okay. Out of everyone that's assisted us so thus far, I trust him the least. Same. I don't trust Melody either, but I mean, she's your aunt, I guess. He has an unclear ulterior motive, and I'm only guessing that it lines up with our own. It's a risk talking to him, but a calculated one. We should at least sound him out if possible. We might be able to get a read on if he's telling the truth or not. Do you have a lie detector? <laughs> he, he should still be at the hospital if my previous correspondences with him are accurate. Alright, time to go to the hospital, I guess. Hey, what what you call this here? Okay, I guess I gotta talk to you to get to him. Oh, hey. Hey. Funny seeing you two here. Wait, were you not expecting us? What can I help with today? We need to see Fairlight. There have been developments that we need to let Doctor Fairlight know about. But could you show us to him? Uh, no can do, I'm afraid. Oh, uh, why the hell not, Decker? Fairlight is speaking at this really important holiday benefit. I'll have my ass for dinner if I interrupt him for anything. And I mean anything. Well, how long is this goddamn speech? So, is this something I might help with? Fairlight has kept me fairly up to speed on your situation. Yeah, I mean, we barely trust Fairlight. Can we trust you? Uh, we really should tell Fairlight directly. Well, you could wait for the event to finish, but those usually go until well past midnight. Well, goddammit. I'm honestly surprised if the old man can manage that. <laughs> we'll pass. It's pretty confidential. Look, most of the old man's work is confidential. You think I just do his laundry? This high up in the tech sector, secrets can earn you millions. But hey, if you don't trust me, that's your loss. <laughs> we don't have time for this. So what do we do? We tell him? I can't trust anyone. Okay, we'll tell you. Jeez. Are you? I'm, I mean, I'm sure. Of course you are. We recently discovered that Hayden might have been removed because removed. interfere with a secret project. Yeah, removed, like, you know, from this plane of existence. They've developed a networked machine intelligence that they're about to release onto the mesh. We were hoping that Dr. Fairlight could get us a way in so that we can shut it down. I cannot overstate the danger of Parallax having control of this entity. You weren't kidding, were you? We're never kidding, Decker. We are so serious. Scummy markers, wet tree. Ew, what? Not to mention all the possible applications to the CIA. So now will you call Dr. Fairlight? Yes. Get out of that stupid event. Actually, it goes a bit above and beyond that. So what now? I don't think I can tell Yannick about this. What is going on, dude? What? Why not? Look, you know, and I know. The old man's itching to get back at the helm of Parallax. He plays a good game of ceremonial ribbon cutting, but he's been sniffing around for a way back at the board ever since he was out. Thankfully, this could play right into his hands, but he's gotta have plausible deniability. So he, he's a blame us? Is that what you're saying? If there's even a whiff that he orchestrated this, he'll be done for. It's a win win for all of us, right? What? What are you talking about, dude? This is all very clandestine. This is all very confusing. What do you suggest? Yannick pays me so that when shit hits the fan, I can take care of it without him even hearing about it. Amazing. Usually it's parents. 
But stuff like this also falls in the job description. <laughs> I'm afraid to know what errands include. My military training should be more than enough to get us into the server mainframe without inside info. And once we're in, we can just clean this mess right up. Uh, while making another one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can either say I trust him or I don't trust him. Ah, do I trust him? I mean, I kind of don't, to be quite honest. But for, I guess, for sake of good faith or right, I'll trust you, Deck? I don't know. That's the spirit. I knew you'd see it. I don't trust anybody in this game except for my beloved friends, Lexi, right. and I guess Chad and Oliver are too are cool too. And Yannick will be able to buy out enough shares to get a seat back on the board. Oh, a Tomcat. How can I forget Tomcat? The you can best make hacker. Entrance to the storm drains just south of the main parallax complex. We'll make our entry from there. I can work with that. Just give me a bit to pick up my gear. Your gear. Don't you worry. Can I have some of that gear? I, I don't like the way you're smiling. Stop it. Get your stupid, sp creepy smiling face out of here. Well, that's the last of the people I think we can recruit. Is it everyone? I mean, I guess. If we have a nice round set of skills to utilize. <laughs> Just to cause a riot, right? Let's head to Parallax now. I'll message Detective Rivers, and we can wait for Mr. Decker to catch up to us there. Okay. Tomcats should be done with their programming soon, and then we can head in. Yeah, hopefully they may do what whatever we got, whatever we could yet. Is that everything? I mean, I think. So we get one shot here. Don't give me so much pressure, hurry. No! Never ready. Oh, chapter 6. This must be the final chapter. Everything is about to go down. Oh, this music is sexy as hell. Oh, one more day until Christmas. No turning back. Yeah, there's no turning back. Alright guys, I'm gonna leave this here. I think we are nearing... The very, I'm guessing. I don't know how long this chapter is. I'm guessing this chapter should be like relatively short because it's gonna wrap up everything. We've gathered pretty much everything we need and the people we, we need. So I think our final steps are pretty much to execute our plan with all of the people we gather. I still don't really trust Decker. I think he's helping us. But I don't know. I'm, out, I'm just cons considering we can't even trust like Farrell like that much. I don't know if we can trust someone that works for him. But I guess we got no choice. So. We just gotta make do. So we're gonna hopefully execute our plan flawlessly and then we are going to wake up all the AIs and shut down Parallax evil diabolical plan and you know maybe get some revenge on them for killing all of our associates pretty much. But we'll have to leave this here and leave the exciting you know showdown stuff in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Please let me know what you think about you know what you think is gonna happen. And I will see you guys in the next video.